Sallav Patel. Welcome to the video lecture series of subject vehicle dynamics. We have already talked about the chapter aerodynamics in which how the air is going to affect my overall body and how the air will flow over a body that we have already discussed in our last lecture. So in today's lecture we will see about how pressure distribution is going to happen on our on our vehicle in which the air is flowing from the frontal side passing over the vehicle and from rear side it will uh, go through it and the second topic is about aerodynamic forces like uh, there are several types of forces that are going to happen due to the aerodynamics so these two topics are our main concern from today's lecture so let us begin with the first topic that is pressure distribution on a vehicle in which you can see that there are several pressure is going to produce in our vehicle while in driving condition it's like positive pressure is there negative pressure is there different and that pressure is going to affect with the help of its own shape and size of the vehicle uh, there is a diagram in which you can see the pressure distribution on a vehicle in which you will find a car that is uh, running on uh, a road and the air is flowing on from the front side in this figure you can see that the red portion that red portion indicates the pressure is maximum uh, in which you can see that the air flow is coming and directly impact on my frontal portion of the car in which you will find it in red color so here you can see that the positive pressure is going to apply moving further if we are talking about the frontal bonnet bonnet portion portion that is slightly aerodynamically perfect shape so for that we can see that the at particular pressure uh, at that point pressure is going to reduce so you will find the negative pressure uh, also you can see from this graph there are several places in which you will find positive pressure as well as negative pressure so at frontal portion you will find positive pressure at uh, our front bumper area or bonnet area you will find negative pressure moving further at windshield area uh, bottom of the windshield you will find the positive pressure why because we need some air to uh, into the combustion chamber in which we will require for combustion so for that positive pressure is required so air coming from the front and blowing into my uh, combustion chamber via intake manifold so for that positive pressure is there for top portion in which you can see that negative pressure is there uh, due to the slope and aerodynamically perfect shape so for that negative pressure is there at the rear portion at which we will find different spoilers and for that we will find zero pressure or negative pressure or positive pressure that is depending upon the how uh, am i i'm going to use my different kind of car shape like sedan suv mv is there fastback is there so according to the shape these pressures are going to change you know several uh, forces pressure forces are going to happen from the below body or we can say the under body of the car so again due to that pressure difference we will find lift and that lift is not going to required while our while our vehicle is in driving condition so for that we have to eliminate our lift area and to eliminate lift area we need lower pressure difference from bottom of the car and to the top of the car moving further here is a, an example of drag like what is drag so we can say that the while my vehicle is in moving condition at the time the air is blowing from the front and due to that the resistance is applied and that resistance is called drag so drag is depending upon the velocity of the car also the shape of the car and different component uh, design so overall drag of the car can be measured with the help of different components second is the lift so again i have already told you that the, due to that pressure difference between bottom of the car and top of the car you will find lift force and for that for the safety purpose we need to eliminate or we need to reduce that lift force uh, by changing component design and make it to perfectly aerodynamic moving further here you can see the brick is placed at which you will find high pressure coming from the front and 
that pressure uh, is going to pass from the overall brake portion and the, you will find less pressure at the back side. So here how the pressure is pressure difference is going to generate and due to that pressure difference my vehicle body is going to affect. So we need to minimize that pressure difference with the help of spoilers, air dams and different components. Uh, let us see about the different signs like positive signs and negative signs are going to use to present the pressure distribution diagram for our vehicle. If I am going to talk about different vehicle areas that how that areas are going to affect with the help of different air. So let us see about the front edge. So here you can see that at front edge air flow rising because the front impact of air is there and turn follow horizontally along the hood. So according to the hood shape my air is going to transfer and front hood line is updated from several years as you know that the frontal portion of car is going to updated day by day to reduce that uh, drag value. So for that we need to change or we need to modify our front portion so uh, in that case our drag is going to reduce. Second portion is the near the base of the windshield and cowl. So here you can see that the cowl area in which uh, the wheel windshield's bottom portion is there. So at that point flow is turned up, high intake pressure is required and it is also used for our air conditioning system or engine intake system. The third one is the roof line, backlit and trunk. So at this portion you will find negative pressure and uh, due to that curvature of that shape, uh, the aerodynamically perfect body you will find less coefficient of drag and due to that vortices is going to create it. So now let us take an example that uh, if I am going to put my car in wind in wind tunnel testing how it is going to react. So here you can see one car smoke is coming from the front and at which you will find the here over here you can say the zero point at which point the velocity of the wind we can say the velocity of the air is going to zero that is called stagnation point and here in the video you can see that the, there are different components that are going to affect my overall air performance that is going to change. Moving further let us see that how lift and down forces are going to generate while the air is blowing over a body. So at here you can see that the drag is there uh, which is maximum. So at frontal portion we can say that it is not aerodynamically perfect shape. So you will find maximum pressure of air over there. So you will find maximum drag. Further moving, uh, moving further the lift force is there. So that is the, uh, depending upon the pressure difference. Again at the windshield cowl portion you will find down force. Again at the roof por portion you will find different lifts. So uh, we have to balance that down force and lift and drag to maximize our vehicle speed without lifting it. So these thing we have to keep in our mind that how drag is going to happen and how lift is going to happen and how these factors are going to overall affect my vehicle body. So here are different shapes at which you will find different drag coefficient. So sphere is there, semicircle is there, also rectangle, square, aerofoil is there. So there are different values of error drag coefficients are there. So you will find uh, from minimum value to the maximum value of the drag coefficient. So here you can see that the aerofoil is having minimum value of 0.04 drag coefficient. So for that we can say that uh, these kind of shape are uh, perfect body with, the, with respect to aerodynamics. So for aer uh, aeroplane wings we will find this kind of arrangement that is eliminate my drag portion and create lift while required in our aeroplane. While in our car lift is not required but we have to eliminate that drag component. So to eliminate that drag component we have to choose from this object and finally reduced my overall drag value. So here one example in which you can find there are different car models are there like sedan is there is there, fastback is there, uh, wagon is there, station wagon is there in which you will find different coefficient of drag uh, drag value 
also the lift value so you can compare this value and uh, finally i have several data from which i can say that the overall car body having less coefficient of discharge value cd value that are per aerodynamically perfect and uh, if the coefficient for lift force is maximum so for that kind of overall body the chances of lifting that car is uh, possible so for that i have to minimize that lift force and drag force so here it is an example of different cd values are there and clf values that is lift force values are there so according to that we can say that the uh, if my coefficient of discharge uh, coefficient of drag value is less then my overall vehicle body is aerodynamically perfect moving further several dirt proposition is there or we can say that they due to the vortices due to the uh, pressure difference what we will find we will find vortices at the back of our car and due to that vortices what will happen during rainy season we will find a dirt dirt proposition over back side of our car in which you can see that the back portion is going to affect with the help of affect due to that air proposition so there are several examples of aerodynamic body like in which you can see that this car is having not that much aerodynamically perfect body due to that vortices and here are you can see that the maximum vortices chances of max, uh, producing maximum vortices are there so according to this kind of uh, dirt proposition you will find that if my body is going to aerodynamic if my body is aerodynamically perfect or not so here there are several examples of uh, here you can see that this car model is having this is suv and uh, though it is suv you will find very high dirt proposition over this body moving further that is our second topic that is aerodynamic forces we have already know about there are different types of forces that are affecting our body so what is aerodynamic force so this is the force exerted on a body by the air or we can say by the gas in which the body is immersed and is due to the relative motion between the body and the gas so there are several forces here you can see these are the forces in which you will find side force is there drag force is there lift force is there and due to these forces several moments are going to happen like yo moment is there pitch moment is there and roll moment is there see these are the moments that is depending upon the also also depending upon the layout of my engine placement like how, how i'm going to place my engine if my vehicle is uh, front engine front wheel drive front engine rear wheel drive so according to that how i can decide my different moments so this is all about aerodynamic forces also you will find different forces in uh, different conditions or we can say the different road conditions or while driving condition so that is all about aerodynamic force thank you